Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom, and today I'm at a new flea market. This is the Rietta Flea Market in Hubbardston, Massachusetts. It says Rietta Ranch Flea Market. It says free admission, enter at your own risk. Yeah, yes, that's good. Is it that dangerous? I've never been to this flea market before. I got here around 1030, and it turns out that's too late because it seemed like everybody started packing up not too long after yeah, I got here. Way. So next year when I come out, I'm going to try to get here before 9 o'clock, if at all possible. Yeah, definitely glad I wore my jeans today. Yeah. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more flea market videos coming up. Thanks. Here's everybody's favorite era of baseball cards. It's the uh, late 80s, early 90s. All these are a dollar each. And if you know, you know, baseball cards, sports cards in general, this era was way, way overproduced and they're really not worth much at all. <laughs> but that's the era I grew up in collecting. And I have boxes and boxes of them at home. If you're looking for old video games, especially Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Super Famicom games, this is probably one of the best flea markets to come to because they've got way more games here than I've seen at any other flea market so far. Here's a bunch of Super Nintendo games on the right. And I honestly don't know the prices on these too well. These were all going for about $5, at least the ones I looked at, which seems reasonable to me. But again, I don't know what they're going for. Here's something I know very well. These are Star Wars Power of the Force 2 action figures from 1995. And I actually remember waiting at Service Merchandise to get these on the first day they were available. It was a big deal back then because these were the first Star Wars toys to be released in, I think, almost 10 years. Okay. Thanks. So everybody wanted Star Wars toys. And when those came out, I just bought them all. So I've got those yeah. all yep. back at home in plastic and boxes and they're in perfect condition. So... But uh, $5 a piece is not bad. That's roughly about what they go for now. They used to go for a lot more than that, but the prices have come way down over the last, I don't know, 10 to 20 years or so. Here's some NES games. These are generally priced between 3 to $5, with some exceptions, of course. Um, I, again, I'm not up to date on all the prices for these, but, you know, if it's 3 to $5, I'm really not going to argue with that price. Oh, Voltron. I still have mine from when I was a kid. Do you? But mine's in much better condition yeah. than this. He's missing an yeah, arm. he's missing an arm, the head. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have. Thank you. I have this one too. I have this. Do you? Yeah. Transformer and got this one. Got a lot of these actually. <clears throat> This is a mask helicopter from 1985, and I think he's asking 90 bucks. I think that's what the sticker says. I think that's mask. I think that's what that was called. Remember, I watched that before school. These are Transformers Decepticon jets, and these were some of my favorites when I was a kid. Now, I had Thrust, which is the maroon one that's on the table there. That one is Ramjet, and this one I think is Skywarp. And the prices on these vary wildly online. It all depends on if they're complete or not. How much are you asking on these? Or this one? Sixty. Yep. Sixty? Okay. Somewhere in my shop I misplaced a bag of accessories for them. Yeah. Complete is hundred. Okay. Alright, thanks. So I checked the prices on that after I got home because there's no cell service at this flea market, so I couldn't check any of their prices. And $60 for that with all the accessories is not bad, but it is more than I was willing to pay. Um, if you look really hard on eBay, you can find those for less. But, again, they can go for 60 or more depending on the condition and how complete they are. Here's a bunch of loose action figures. I think that's an original C-3PO from 1977 or 78. And I didn't see a price on that. Some of these did have prices, but a lot of them didn't, as far as I could tell. Uh, 
Here's a bunch of He-Man or Masters of the Universe toys from the early 80s. And the less popular ones seem to go for like $5 to $20 or so loose like this. The ones like Skeletor and He-Man himself do seem to sell for more. Uh, but I'm really only looking for them if they're cheap, like 5 to 10 a piece. Hey, how much on this Skeletor? 50? Okay. I checked that one out online as well, and some of them do sell for about $50, but that's on the high end. <laughs> this is Star Tropics on the NES. I'm assuming it's complete in box. He's asking $55 for it. Uh, again, I checked on eBay, and it seems to sell for about $30 to $40 plus shipping. So $55 is definitely on the high end. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. And yourself? Good. Make them all myself. Oh, okay. Homemade pins, magnets, and charms. Oh, cool. GoProing it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You never know what you'll find here. No, no, not at all. What are they made out of? How do you make them? Shrinky dinks oh, and UV say. resin to keep them nice and st <laughs> yeah. sturdy. And I even resin the backs of the pins on oh, okay. so people can take them off. And when they're jostling around on a bag or a jacket, there's less likely the pin yeah. will come off. I thought these were really cool. There were a few I was interested in, but of course I had to get the two Star Wars take ones. These two? They're two for five. Two for five. Okay. Works for me. All homemade. I drew them myself. And some more NES games, and I actually did end up buying a couple of these. Believe it or not. He said all the video games are five dollars each, which again for an NES game I think is fine. I know some of them probably go for two or three, some of the bad ones or the real common ones, but I'm not gonna argue with five bucks. And I just noticed that these two have different labels on them. If anybody knows the difference between these two, let me know in the comments. Because these are the ones that would generally come packed in with the NES when you bought it. And I don't know why they would have different labels. That's Lorcana. That's it. It's Fabio. Oh, is it? Yeah, pretty sure. What are you doing? He's still walking around. 30 minutes. I don't know if I can today. I'll take these two for 10. Thank you. Right, thanks. They look like uh, hooves, though, the way they're. And he's got like a saddle. Action figures, $3 each. Okay. This guy had a great selection of action figures, and they were priced really well, but. To say these were in rough condition is being a little bit too kind, yeah. I think. I guess it helps with the gravel. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you're interested in the figures, I'd do 25 bucks for the whole whole bundle. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a good deal. <laughs> They're a little, little rough. Yeah. But yeah, 25 for all of them? Can't argue with that. No. He had a box of old game controllers here for five a piece or three for ten. Three for ten is a really good price. So I was looking for some old Nintendo or old Sega controllers, or even old Atari controllers. But most of these were either like aftermarket ones or not in the best condition. Some of them are actually broken, so it's probably been picked over. And again, three for ten is not bad if you can find ones that work. But a lot of these did look like they were possibly not in uh, tip-top condition. Goops and how to beat them? I never heard about them. I don't know what that is. Oh, those must be goops. Oh. I'm assuming. Them. Oh, yes. Oh, my neighbors. Let me go 
gets smaller on a daily basis. I know it does. I know. I hope you have a great day. Like this. I think this was from the... You had one like that? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't, what does it say it's from? Edgewood Potters. Edgewood yes. Potters, yeah. From Maine. Yeah. You had one like that? You I think I have it still somewhere. Oh, yeah, I don't remember seeing anything like that. Yeah. Are you interested in that nice piece of pottery? Well, I was looking at I recognized it because I got a couple pieces of Edgewood. So you know. They're you pretty. Know. Yeah. You know it's a good stuff, huh? Yep. How much are you asking for it? Fifteen. Fifteen? One five? Oh, that's okay. not bad at all. Yeah. Not bad at all. Oh, that's a nice bowl. Well, if it's still there when we come back, I might just get it, but it's heavy to carry around. <laughs> I can, I'm going to put it over there anyway. Thank you. 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 And she did end up buying it, I just didn't get it on video. If I didn't already have one of these, I would have bought these. These are Samsung Gear VR headsets. He's asking five bucks for them. They came out in 2017 and they used to cost a lot more. These used to be somewhat expensive. I think I had one I paid like at least 50 bucks for it, I think. Yeah. It's where you put your cell phone in the headset. It's like VR, but you use your cell phone. Oh, really? Yeah. Works okay. But, but I haven't used it in like five years, so mm -hmm. it's not that great. <laughs> Hey, how are you? Good. Trying to stay warm. Yeah. Yeah. A little sunshine would help. I know. You started out, I'm like, today's going to be a good day. Yeah. It's going to warm right up. No, it's going to be cold. Not Quickly. so far. Quickly diminished. <laughs> no pets allowed. Okay. Well, I'm good. Yeah. Those are the third dogs I've seen. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. You won't need to go anywhere to sell it. You'll just li li list it, and whoever's looking for it will find it. By the time I graduated college, I asked myself, what the hell do I need this degree for? Did you go to college? I did. I forget that sometimes. Here we have a Radio Shack Space Alien video game. This is from, I think, 1990 to 1993 or so. Uh, he says it works perfectly, and he's asking 10 bucks for it. That's a good price. I did see one that had sold on eBay, and it was 15 bucks. So 10 bucks is probably a good price, assuming it works. But it's a little bit too new for me. I would be more interested in something from the 80s or 70s. I thought these were kind of cool. These are old Super 8 movies. Uh, there's two copies of Son of Frankenstein. One, The big one, I think, is called the 200-foot version, and the smaller one is the 50-foot version. As far as I can tell, they were released in the mid-60s. The movie itself is from the late 30s, but I think the 8 millimeters were released in the mid-60s, as far as I can tell. The benefits were fine. How much are the films? Those are five each. Five each? Um, the small one, too? I mean, yeah, I was saying five each. Five each? If you wanted more than one. Yeah, I was thinking about the three of them. Three monster ones? Yeah, other than the surfing one, so yeah. it's the best you could do for the three. Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks? Yeah. All right, I'll do that. Then, Have you ever read through one of those things? I uh, know, but I've uh, always wanted to. They're hilarious. They're very dated now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Round of folding tables. Packing there up. you go. 12 bucks. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Yeah, well, I also got a three, but I'm not using I think that's a He-Man toy. Naked Skeletor. Thank you. Enjoy. Have a good day. Yes, sir. Walter. Yep. I used to have this one. Did you? Yeah. It's a ram man, so he rams. <laughs> Smell fried food of some sort. Yeah. So this flea market had a lot of cosmetics, uh, soaps, like household items like this. 
kind of like they do at the Redwood Country Flea Market in Wallingford, Connecticut. And I remember the Grafton Flea Market, I think, had a lot of stuff like this. But you would never find anything like this at the Brimfield Flea Market, for example. Not expired. <laughs> no, well, that's good. Okay, what's the date on that? February 24. He'll uh, be gone by then. Now. Yeah, probably. What, the Motrin? Yeah. It would be in my house where, anyway. Where did you put There's it? There's Motrin here. The 350, that's not bad. Yeah, I don't know, I actually don't know what they cost new in the store. The PM, I'll avoid that. These are PM ones. Yeah, you don't want the PMs. You knocked it right out. Actually, I might get a Motrin. I usually wouldn't buy this type of stuff at a flea market. The only exception would be if they had razor blades, because razor blades are so expensive. New, they're like forty bucks for a big pack of them. So if they had razor blades on sale, I would definitely buy those. But sadly, they didn't. Do those have dates on them? Probably no. Oh, on the bottom here. Twenty twenty-five. This is twenty twenty-five. This is. Sometime 2024. They're good. You know what? I'm going to get some cat treats too, so I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. That's another three dollars. All right. Parker, look. Some old polydent. Oh, wow. Bessie. Yeah. <laughs> the pig is out working on it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> is it Yeah. Yeah. What is this? February 1865. Twine, manufacturer of twine. He was right in. Four dollars thirty-five cents back in 1865 must have been quite a bit. Oh yes. Eight pounds. Yeah. Eleven ounces of twine. It's a lot of twine. Sure is. Did you? One day, I'm down at the base, and the people are going by. It's <laughs> an interesting name. I'm assuming, was it supposed to be some sort of, it was like a camel, a donkey, and a rabbit? Yeah, what's the tail? I don't know. My son is from behind. He's about four years old, walking into the clouds on the top of Mount Washington. Somebody decided to illustrate it, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there he is. Just in space. Oh no, all the time. I like to keep it from the time as well. No, that's an Atari system. It has like 15 games with it. Yeah. It has ET in the box. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. How much are you asking for all 60. that? 60. 60? Yeah. Oh, those are all Which is a really good deal. Yeah. Okay, okay, then you check it out. It's a very unhappy number. I know. <laughs> I'd do 50 for the box of Atari stuff. Okay, yeah, I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'd even do 40. Yeah, I'll think about it. It's not sure. Yeah. Not sure about it. I could be wrong, but I think 60 for that is a bit high. I would, in condition like that, I probably wouldn't pay more than 20 or 30, but I, you know, I could be wrong. It could be worth 60, but once again, it's more than I wanted to pay. More of those cologne bottles. Oh, yeah. We built inflatable rooms and would reflect like fish tanks on them and stuff like that. And make waterfalls out of out of out of, out of steel. I was the only person in the world I know that's been hit in the head and knocked out by the inside of the washing machine. Outside of building. It's look kinda old. In Williamsburg, Brooklyn. <laughs> this close, but I spent all my money there already and I came back and was I would have left your, they would have left your they my shoes. No, the sun came and took it. Okay. Yep. That always happens. Yup. Can they give me another two? Oh, sorry. Yeah, so did I take them? Yeah, you put it back. Sorry. I don't know.
When I was a kid back in the 80s, I had a huge collection of these model cars or ones like it. Uh, this one's a Ferrari Testarossa from, I think it says 96, so it's a little bit newer than I would have collected. And he's got 15 on it. That sounds about right. I think those cost maybe 20, 30 bucks new back in the 80s and 90s, I think. This Wolverine toy, I think, is probably from the 90s. It looks like it's based on the animated series. But look at his claws there. It looks like uh, Magneto got at him there. It's hard to do that to Adamantium. Cool toy, though. If that was in better condition, I would have bought that. It's just because it's so big. Yeah. Yeah, that would be bad. I'm not sure if these model trains are just extremely old or in an extremely bad condition. If you've watched a lot of my flea market videos, you probably know I'm into these old rotary phones like the ones here in this box. But I've never seen one like this before. This black one here. If anybody knows what this is, let me know in the comments. I have no idea. You can hear everybody starting up their engines. That's because most of the people were starting to pack up to leave at this point. So I started to put it into high gear just to get through as much of this as I could before everybody left. Here's a cool old clock radio, probably from the 80s. Looks like it's a blue LED, which are kind of neat. I had one just like that back in the 80s or 90s um, when I was a kid. I remember having it in my bedroom. I remember the alarm on it was horrible. It, it woke you up, but oh my god, that noise. That's the worst noise in the entire world. Three bucks for the pair. Oh, okay. Three dollars for the pair is a very good price. I just wasn't, just wasn't really interested enough. And there you have it. That's the end of part one of the Rietta Flea Market. I'm going to have one more part to this video, so stay tuned for that. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. It is free. Leave a comment and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more flea market videos coming up, as well as mall videos, of course. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.